What's going on everybody? I wanted to make a quick video of uh, setting up your Tyrannus to work with your Alien Whoop Zero. Uh, this board runs on silverware, uh, which is a relatively new uh, firmware for, for these flight controllers for these little uh, tiny Whoop type uh, multi-copters. Um, and instead of what we're used to having three modes, uh, silverware offers us let's see, 10 modes when everything is accounted for. Um, you get to those 10 different modes by setting a series of four switches in certain positions. Um, for me, that's a little crazy. Uh, I like having three modes. Um, and I think most people that have been flying are used to just having three modes. So I wanted to have a way to set up my Tyrannus to run my Whoop like a normal uh, quadcopter. So I came up with a quick solution to run it that way. So I want to walk you guys through setting up a new model to run your Alien Whoop Zero in a rather normal fashion instead of the dip switch patterns. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a model. It's a multi-copter. Uh, we want throttle to be on channel 3. We want roll to be on channel one. We want pitch to be on channel two. And we want yaw to be on channel four. Is this correct? So it should be AETR. So we've got roll, pitch, throttle, yaw. So that is correct. Enter to confirm. All right. So that gives us our basic setup. Uh, it only assigns those four channels. So we're going to need to go ahead and assign all the rest of them. So to do that, we're going to hit the page button. You can name your model. Uh, and some people don't know this. If you long press, you get capitals. So you can use capital letters in your model names. So you're not restricted to those lowercase letters. Just a fun little tidbit. I don't know. I don't know how important naming models is to everyone, but I like to have it looking right. The only other thing you're going to mess with in page one or page two, I guess, is uh, your receiver. You're going to bind it, and you bind it uh, in D16 mode, and then you're going to want to set your fail safe. Uh, I'm not going to do either of those right now because I'm not actually setting up a new board. We'll go to page two, nothing there. Page three, nothing there. Page four, this is just going to show your inputs. Um, I like to set this up all the way, but for the simple mode, I don't think we have to. So let's go to our mixer. Our mixer, we see channel one is A, channel two is E, channel three is T, and channel four is R. A, E, T, R, that's the correct mode. Now, channel 5, uh, channel 5 is what's going to control arming and disarming. Um, so I like to do my shoulder switch on the left side as, uh, as an arm. So we're going to open that up. Mix name, I like to, again, name my mixes and stuff. So I just like to do everything the hard way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set it up as arm. And I want to set that to my shoulder switch. So you just flick your switch, and that's going to automatically pick the source. And then we can back out of that. So now we've got channel 5 set to that switch. And I believe that's all we've got to do on this page, because we're going to do the rest of this with our special functions page. So you tab through everything. to get to special functions. And this is where the fun happens. So we set our first one. So we set, let's see. So we can put this on our first switch because we want our first switch to be our mode 
and select. So we've got the three positions. So all the way up is where I like to have uh, angle mode. Uh, for angle mode to be activated on this silverware, it has to run, let me see, you have to be armed, so channel 5 has to be on. That's already going to be on, so we don't have to add that. And then uh, it has to have channel 6 at a high value, and channel 7 and channel 8 at a low value. Now, I don't know if it's necessary to set the low values. Um, I think it automatically does the low values, but I'm going to go ahead and put everything in just so all my bases are covered. So we've got our switch is SA. Uh, in the up position, our function is override. Uh, our channel is going to be channel 6, 7, and 8. So we'll start with channel 6. And our value uh, for channel 6 needs to be high. So open that up and set the value as high as it'll go, which is 150. And then click that checkbox to make sure it's running that special function. And then we can exit out of that, and we can go to our next tab. So we also want this to be on that switch in the up position. And this time we're going to override channel 7. And channel 7 needs to be low. So we're going to set this all the way down, negative 150, and hit that. And we're going to keep doing this process one more time sorry hit the camera there to override channel 8 and channel 8 needs to be all the way down and hit that checkbox so what this means basically is anytime I've got this switch in this position, you see they all got dark, they activated. It's overriding channels 6, 7, and 8 to be in these positions. So this switch in that position automatically sets those channels to the values to select uh, angle mode. Okay, so angle mode needs channel 6 high, channel 7 and 8 low. Uh, horizon mode needs channel 6 high, channel 7 low, and channel 8 high. Now I prefer to use what they call race mode in silverware. Race mode keeps your uh, elevator in acro mode. So all the time you're pitching, it's going to keep you pitched where you put it instead of going back to level. But your roll stays in level or horizon mode depending on which one you pick. So if you pick level mode, then you're never going to be able to bank past that, but you're always going to be able to hold your uh, your pitch wherever you set it. It's a pretty cool mode. It's really hard to fly at first. Uh, I'm trying to get used to it because I like the concept and I think it's going to be the best way to fly these races. Uh, so I'm actually going to do Horizon, that way I've got my full full extent, so if I want to do a roll or if I need to do a split S, I can kind of work that out in Horizon, Race Mode Horizon. So for Race Mode Horizon, the values you're going to need is channel 6, 7, and 8, all set high. So we're going to go through the same process again, but this time I'm setting my switch to mid. We're going to override channel 6, and we want all three of these channels set high. So 150, check mark. And then we're going to do it again. This time we're going to set, oh shoot, set it for 7. We're going to set it all the way up, check mark. And then we're going to set our last one, channel 
eight. And we're going to set it all the way up. And we're going to hit that checkbox. All right. And then I want my last one to just be full blown acro. So, full blown acro is really simple. You just have to have channel six set low. If channel six is set low, it doesn't matter what anything else is set to, it's going to be acro. So, our last thing we can do here is we can set our switch value down to override channel six. to set it all the way down 150 all right so just doing that that alone is going to have everything set up to have those three modes now with that done we still that still only covers the regular modes silverware gives you the option of a juicy mode or a bronx mode uh, I'm not the right person to explain the difference between the two modes. What I will say is to me, Bronx feels less forgiving. It feels like exactly the stick input you're doing is exactly what it does. Juicy feels more like it's, uh, I think juicy is a good term for it because it feels a little more loose. It feels kind of spongy. Uh, it, it's a little more forgiving might be the right word. Uh, looks better on DVR. I know that much. Uh, so to set that mode, we're going to go back into here, and this time we're going to go to our mixer, and we're going to go all the way down to channel 9, mix name, name it juice, And our source, you can set this to whatever switch you want to. I'm going to do the one right next to here. So that's SB. And we're not going to have to change anything else here. So what that's going to do is set channel 9 to change our juicy mode. Uh, and the way it is currently configured is when it's low, it's in juicy mode, and when it's high, it's in full bronze mode. So, so, you know, depending on where your stick is set, where that switch is set, the mid position isn't going to do anything, but up and down are going to change it from juicy to bronze. Uh, so we can see all of the changes we just did if we go back to our model page. If we come right here. It's going to show where all of our switch positions are. So if we go all the way up. We see that those three switch positions are at 150, negative 150, and negative 150. We go here, and we see that those switch positions are all high, 150, 150, 150. And when we flip down to acro, we see the only one it cares about is setting that one low. Uh, so that's channel 6, 7, and 8. So it looks like we did it right. You see those going immediately. And then of course, our juicy mode up here. So anyways, uh, that's really all there is to it. I know this video ended up being a lot longer than I planned on and I made a few mistakes going through it, but I just wanted it out there uh, just so people could see that it's really not that hard to figure out setting up these modes and getting them working with your Tyrannus. Uh, if y'all have any questions uh, feel free to leave a message uh, down here leave a comment and I'll try to answer them um, to my knowledge no one else is really working on trying to figure out how to do this the right way uh, I know this way works I don't know if this is the right way or the easiest way I just know that for what I wanted to get done this handled it perfectly uh, so again, if you have any questions, comments, or anything else, leave them down there. Let me know what's going on. Uh, if you end up using this, uh, leave me a like or something. I don't know. But uh, I hope it's helpful. 
I hope the video is not too long, dull, and boring. And I will see you guys out there.